making an update on the court, it's quarter to one. I went an hour and 15 minutes to get to work and I'm gonna go meet my co-worker, honestly. It's because I got up at like fucking quarter to 12, but my rationale was I could have been out the door by quarter past and I got out the door at 25 to. I'm not my phone to charge and shit because I didn't charge it last night. And my phone was at fucking fast because I'm a dumbass. It's like, I was, before I went like, oh, yeah, I'll go get the charger. Ended up just rolling over and going to sleep like a fucking morning, honestly. So that day won't be like 10 fucking minutes long for this obvious reason. But I'm off in today from 2 till 11 o'clock. I got paid back last night, so I'm actually looking at shit to buy already. Because I'm a dumbass. shut my window for me and I'm officially fucking enraged at Amazon. They have still failed to deliver something. This was meant to come on Friday. Here we are, Monday. We're going into Tuesday morning. You know, because it's what time? 27 minutes past. I'm up in literally six fucking hours. Which I'm not happy about. Cause there's no danger when my, I know myself well, and I know for a fucking fact, without a shadow of a doubt, I will not get that much sleep. You see, I've noticed a trend of myself on these shifts in particular. I want, you know, um, I want. See, because I'm at work all day, all the way from the point when I get up, I don't want to work. I want to chill when I come in, and I use the wrong time to do it. You know, I should kind of just forget about it, you know, but... Yeah. Gotta get all this off. I got to work from... So work was, it started off good but got stressful, you know, which is kind of how work usually is, but it was more stressful than usual, like, I don't know, it was coming from getting done and just, staff cuts, my hours have been cut since it was 34 this week, it's jumped his ass down to fucking 25, so I'm going to have to recalculate how much pay I think I'm getting, which I hate thinking about that. I have to say I will not be scratching a grand of this next pay, but lucky for me, I've got other people who are going to be paying me back next month and this month, and so I shouldn't be doing too bad. But in January, going forward, I will not be touching a fucking grand for the most part. I don't know, but I feel like for the rest of the time that I'm there, which December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. The next eight months from there, I probably will never have got any of that kind of money again. So, yeah, once the boys get some pajamas and that sorted, so I do well again because I'm cold out here, but right now. Ugh. 
So let's go on my break at work. I was looking on the website Pinterest a lot. Because I obviously am going to be moving up next year. I'm going to take my Lego collection with me. Some sets will be going and not coming back. See, there's some of these sets, right, that I genuinely have maybe taken this team onwards. Or would rather have the older versions of, because I prefer the older versions, for instance. I, in one instance, I actually upgraded the set. Last, until uh, maybe in April, I had the version of the X1 that comes before. This one here is the January 2012 version, which is a set I have extreme nostalgia looking at. Um, before this, I had the 2006 version, which I have nostalgia for, but I would rather have had the 2012 version, so I got rid of that and upgraded to this. I said that I do want to get rid of is maybe the slave one. See, it's not that I don't like it, it's both of its ship is fucking iconic. It's the fact that it's, you know, it's a modern one, and the side panels are built up, and this, this one's falling apart. It's, I would rather have the 2006 or 2010 versions. Same with this pod racer. Yeah, this is the 2019 one, it comes on its own. I'd rather buy the 2011 set that also comes with Sabobas. I want to get that 1999 set that has like three or four pod racers in it. I don't know, some of these sets will be just getting built in stores and some of them are just straight up not coming that I'm just going to sell. Um, but you know, keeping the majority, one you see on the shelf, but once the majority are keeping. See, one thing I'm going to try not to do is buy sets leading up. Like, I'll put the money away so when I move out and I've got my new display, I can put them on. But I'm going to try and stay away from the sets. So, yeah. I say that as I'm much more thinking about buying a set in December. My goal is to try and get all the 2012 sets. And I've only, I think this year I have been not very great at it. Because last year in 2022, I knocked quite a few of them off. Good shout. Like last year, I was really quite like 2021. I bought one of them, it was the Droid Escape Pod. 2022 was the 10 years after they came out. I bought the Jabba's Palace, I bought the Malevolence, Palpatine's Arrest, the X Wing, the Gungan Sub, and the Planet Sets. I bought being the Death Star and wait, where's Naboo? Yeah, Naboo is there. I have a joy of the figures from the year as well. So I want to try and get the 2012 TIE Fighter, or the 2012 Y-Wing, or heck, even the Anakin Seth Jedi, etc. Or maybe one of the older public sets. I want to knock a 2012 set off. But I'm going to try and hold on until I've moved out. I want, I think I want more shit to pack. Which, I have a rough idea of how I'm packing most of this anyway. But you know, that's another vlog. Anyway, I'm going to go, it's 33 minutes past. Probably have an episode of Breaking Bad, or I'll finish one, I don't know. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you very much for watching.